Hey folks, I bought the Eligu Neptune 4 Pro a while ago and printed some nice things with it, like this cover for my Xbox controller, which turned out very well. However, I also had problems from the beginning with the infill. The nozzle constantly bumped into the print and the pattern has often broken due to these crashes. There were also major problems with the supports because the nozzle constantly bumped against them. And here again the broken infill pattern can be seen. So I wrote the distributor where I bought the printer and they offered to replace it with a new one. And today, after about 3 weeks, I received the new printer. I almost screwed up during assembly when I nearly dropped the gentry. Otherwise, the assembly went very quickly and after about 10 to 15 minutes I was done. At this point I must say that I am very happy that I did not buy the printer directly from the manufacturer in China, but from a distributor in my country. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten the printer replaced for free. After I have screwed everything together, I insert the power cable and switch it on. Before I can print I have to do the manual bed leveling. Then the printer makes the automatically created mesh. And after the Z offset is set, you can load the filament in. On the supplied stick is already a benchy that I can print. A couple of small additions that were not present on my first model are, for example, the now insulated heated bed and that all the metal guides are already factory greased. Here on the base where the extruder cable comes out is now a plastic cover. That was not there with my first Neptune 4 either. The benchy was printed after 24 minutes, just as with the first model. I have not changed anything in the default settings, and it turned out well. Only on the first layer I have to tune it a bit more. Here is the one I printed with the first Neptune 4, and it looks exactly the same to me. However, on the first benchy on the right, I ran out of the filament that came with the printer. And I had to switch to a different white filament halfway through. At this point at the front the new one is a bit deformed, but that's because I forgot to turn on the external fan. The tool sent along has remained the same. You will get some grease, a tool for adjusting the extruder, a couple of wrenches, allen keys, two screwdrivers, a scraper and a small cutter. What is not included is such a deburring tool, which I definitely recommend buying. You will often use it. A chopstick also comes in handy, I will explain later what you will need it for with this printer. And these metal brushes are very useful to clean the nozzle between prints. Because the printer does not have Wi-Fi installed, you will also need something to connect it to your computer. I have decided to use such a repeater. It cost me about 9 money. You plug the supplied cable in here and the other end goes in there. Then you plug this in there, and now you have Wi-Fi on your Neptune 4. Of course, you can alternatively plug in the included USB stick or the card reader that comes including a micro SD card. My first Neptune 4 apparently had something bent, because it wobbled on the table. The new one does not. But some shortcomings have remained the same. For example, the extruder cable still rubs against the threaded rod here. And the screws that guide the Z-axis are again not tightened. You should definitely check and tighten this on your Neptune 4. When you start a new print, the extruder will go all the way down the center of the plate and leave a blob of filament there. This blob will not go well with your first layer. Here the chopstick comes into use to wipe it from the plate before the print starts. This problem occurred with both my Neptune 4. On my first model I had the problem that the layers were not flush with the shell lines everywhere, as you can see here. I tried many settings that you guys wrote me in the last video to fix this problem, but had no success no matter what I tried. I think now that it was probably just bent parts that caused all these faults. Because with my new Neptune 4 I had no more such problems using the same settings as before. I'm happy to say that also the infill problems no longer exist with the new printer. Also with these two prints from the last Neptune 4 it is clear to see that something was wrong. The second printer can print the small holes of this water sprayer without problems. 
From my side, these are the most important things to know about this printer if you want to buy one yourself. In the next video I will show you how to upgrade the printer from this to that. By printing parts that make it a tank and generally improve the level of operation. So subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss this. And you can leave a like if the video helped you, it means a lot to me. I am also happy to receive questions and comments and will gladly answer them. Take care and see you next time.